Welcome to this demonstration for NetSuite's assembly and bill of material records. I'm logged into NetSuite as production manager and I'll highlight a few key components of the production dashboard. Key performance indicators give me a real-time look at my production metrics, highlighting things like inventory balances, as well as scheduled and open work orders. Reminders alert the production manager of what needs to be done on the shop floor and other tasks that are specific to this role. The production overview report provides visibility into what is being done in the manufacturing facility showing what's currently being built, as well as the completion percentage of each job, all in real time. Now this is a drillable link that will help us get more information on the assembly item. So let's take a look at this assembly item record. This item type allows us to add components to create the bill of materials or BOM. Here, we can also utilize component yield which lets us account for standard yield loss built into the bomb. This can be entered as a percentage to indicate the quantity of a component that should be issued versus what is required for an individual finished good. The bomb is made up of the components we see listed here. We can also add another assembly item that can be added as a multi-level bomb structure with sub-assemblies. We can also list the item source to determine where the component is coming from, whether it's from stock, a separate purchase order or work order, or a phantom subassembly. For each line, we'll also enter the quantity and unit of measure that is typically required to build this product. Work orders and assemblies also comes with revision control with the form of effective dates and obsolete dates or version control. This allows for maintaining historical bills and material while also remaining up to date with the latest build as components change over time. Additionally, we can add labor or overhead costs to this assembly item by adding a non-inventory type item on the bomb. When we build this assembly, it will now include this labor or overhead charge into the cost of the finished good. When we build this item on the shop floor, we can do this in NetSuite with a work order or by using an assembly build transaction. On this assembly build page, we can enter the quantity that we are about to build and verify the components and the quantities that we are going to be consuming. Once we save this, NetSuite will now reflect the components used and the newly built 10 units of our assembly item. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.